<clears throat> All right. Shalom, Wom, Shalom, Wom. My brothers of Great Millstone and Church in Birmingham, Alabama. But before we get started, I'd like to give our praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men who taught us this truth. Peace and blessings be to the hopeful elect, the men, women, and little ones that believe on the words of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, it's your brother Micah Allah, your brother Kazakwari, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, Lord willing to edify. And the title of this lesson is These People Hate Us, Man. You see? And these people hate us, and it's being shown in their actions. You know, they hate those that rebuke up at the gate. You see? And ultimately, these people ultimately hate Yahweh by Shema Shai. You yeah. see? Because we come, you know, with the message. Of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. We're not coming with our own message. We're not coming out of our own bellies. No. We're coming with the words of the king, man. You see? What you got, son? Uh, yeah. Kind. Mm, I, I read it for you. I'll okay, read it. kind. Oh, <coughs> this, you got it. Yep. Uh, this 1 Kings 22 and verse 7. And Jehoshaphat said, Is there none here a prophet of Yahweh besides that we might inquire of him? And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man, Micaiah, the son of Amla, by whom we may inquire of Yahweh. Hey, and in order for you to inquire of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, you got to go to the prophets, man. You see? So you got this prophet, um, Micaiah, you know, which is a prophet of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. But you got it. And you got the king, you know, Jehoshaphat. But you got it. But I hate him. For he doth not prophesy good concerning me, mm -hmm. but evil. And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say so. Exactly. So you see, he said, but I hate him. You see, people hate the prophets, man. Mm -hmm. You see, Israelites hate their own kind, man. Mm -hmm. You see, these people actually despise us. What, uh, Jake, you killed the prophets, you know, in the times of old, you killed the, uh, you killed our Lord, man. Uh -huh. You see? So, hey, we come in the same stead as the prophets of old, man. You people hate us because it says, for he does not prophesy good concerning me. We tell you America's finna be destroyed. We telling you your enemy, Esau, even the so-called white man, his kingdom is being uh, taken down, and he's about to go into slavery. And here it is. We got the fight in Jake, you know, fight and wrestle with Jake. You know, they don't want to accept that, man. They want to love their master. You see, they want to love Esau, take up for his ass. You see? And, um, yeah, kind. But uh, I got something right here. This, uh, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before the. Oh, my bad. My bad. Mm. Go ahead. No, no, you got to go ahead. You got some? No, it's a lot. My bad. You sure did? Yeah, because I wanted to go in, uh, back to that Khan, point. You got it. But, yeah, you can go ahead and read that first. It's a lot. All right, kind. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, this Jeremiah bad. 28 and verse 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me. Yep. And before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You see, and we come in the same stead as the prophets, man. You yeah. see, they despise the prophets of old. This is the message. This is how the prophets of old came, man. This is the message that they came with. The testimonies of Yahweh Shah, which is the spirit of prophecy, man. So the prophets of old prophesied against many countries, against great kingdoms. They prophesied of uh, evils, man. Okay. You see, mm -hmm. wars, evils, and pestilence. That's the same stead we come in, man. Yep. That's why we understand why you hate. You hated the prophets of old, so by default, you're gonna hate the prophets today, man. Uh, but you got it. Yeah, I got a uh, quick example. Mm -hmm. um, this is the um, the prophet Jeremiah. This is um, Jeremiah 11 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. Like you just going to a prophet of old, you're warning them, hey, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai from the sin, great judgment. Upon you by the way of the Babylonians If you don't get your shit together And the people scoff They tried to kill Jeremiah You see they had him thrown in prison But this is on uh, Jeremiah 11 And verse 21 Therefore Matter of fact I'm sorry verse 20 But O Yahweh of hosts That judges righteously That triest the reins And the heart Let me see thy vengeance on them for unto thee have I revealed my cause. See, that was Jeremiah. So he said he wanted to see his vengeance on them. Because how his people uh, mistreat him. This is um, Jeremiah 11 and 21. 
Therefore, thus, so like therefore, thus saith Yahweh of the men of Anah that seek thy life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of Yahweh. You see, that's what the people of Ananoth were saying. When you go into Ananoth, there's a, a Benjamite town. They were saying, hey, don't prophesy in the name of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, that thou die not by our hands. See, they were threatening to kill him. I'm going to read in the NLT. It says, this is what Yahweh says about the man of Ananoth who wanted me dead. They had said, we will kill you if you do not stop prophesying in Yahweh's name. You see? Hey, that's the the, uh, the the state these people in today, man. They ride by scoffing, talking shit. Even with um, IUIC, we know they off and they were judging on Yahweh by Shema Shah, but you had niggas ride by and actually shoot at them niggas, man. You see? But continuing on, they say, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by the famine. You see, and, and that's what's going to happen to two thirds of our people in the time of Jacob's trouble, man, for scoffing the prophets, you know, scoffing against Yahweh by Shema Shah, first and foremost, because that's, hey, that's who you hate, you know, our Lord Yahweh Shah, because, hey, he is the word. And we just telling you what our Lord said and what he's going to do. And if you don't repent, you're going to die. And hey, you hate us for that. And so, the, hey, the, like, um, like the Lord just told told them back then how, that, uh, how the young men are going to die by the sword. Hey, that's going to be the same thing that happened in today's time. It can be, by the way, uh, your neighbor kicking in your door and killing you for the famine. You get drafted to World War Three, Esau, Edom, and troops, however the Lord may do it. And he said, and by the famine. And he says, and there shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring evil upon the men of Ananoth, even the year of their visitation. Hey, and the year of uh, uh, Yahweh Shai's visitation is... Uh, soon to come man we see the um the the plagues a hey, ramping up like those birth pains a hey, daily earthquakes just evils and only evils increasing by the day mm -hmm. what you got about those oh, no, scourges huh you see that's why we come with the message of repentance to you so-called negro latinos and native americans as well as you israelite foreigners man because the lord is going to judge the people that you know reject the prophets and that reject you how about shemal shot but this Galatians 4, you got something else? Uh, I had a, uh... Come on, you got it. Yeah, I had a quick one. Well, you, you, you got it, you got it. I'll read it for you, though. I'll, yeah, come on. Uh, what you want. Galatians 4 and 16. Yeah. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, and verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Mm-hmm. So we became an enemy. You see you people, you people actually hate us. You despise us, you know, because we tell you the truth, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And, and and it tells you what the truth hurts. Mm -hmm. That's the saying in the world, man. Hey, the truth hurts, man. Hey, but correction is it, for your benefit, man. It's for our benefit, you see? Mm -hmm. But you, 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 you despise the correction. You look past the correction part, and that is for your benefit. And Jake is just set on killing the prophets, man. Killing those who rebuke at the gate, man. But not knowing that you hating us is going to get you killed, man. Because guess what? Now the blood is off our hands. Mm -hmm. And now it's just left. It's just you and your high by Shemal Shah. You got to deal with the Lord now, man. Uh -huh. You see? This is an act of mercy, him having the prophets to come out and, 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 and speak to you peacefully and try to comfort you and bring you back to your power. But, hey, you ain't, want, you ain't, you ain't going to help nobody that don't want to be helped, man. You see? And Jake don't want to be helped. Mm -hmm. But you got it. Yep. And this is why Jake don't want to be helped, man. This is um, Ezekiel 2 and verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to a children. So like I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation mm -hmm. that have rebelled against me. Mm -hmm. And so like if I may say, and this is the, the nature of, of, of us, man. Mm -hmm. You see? We was in this uh, same state at one point in time, man. We rebelled against Yahweh by mm -hmm. But the Lord has allowed us, you know, mercy and grace back unto him, man. Uh, but you got it. He says, they and their fathers have transgressed against me mm -hmm. even to this very day. And this is, hey, this is exactly why we're in America right now. Mm -hmm. Because we went off, man. 
We were the ones worshiping other gods, these false gods and idols, you see, and Christianity and shit, you see, or these other different philosophies and doctrines, wanting to follow after the ways of the heathen instead of being holy and separate and, 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 and following your high by Shema Shah. This is why we're here. Um, but you got it. They say, for they are impudent children and stiff hearted. A hey, impudent going to them being just, uh, matter of fact, stupid and stubborn. You see? You get the word for impudent. It's 87186. Yep, it says, uh, hard, cruel, severe, obstinate. Hey, and that's Jake, man. Jake rebellious as hell, man. Just, just think, I know down here, Birmingham City School, just these little badass kids, niggas I went to school with, man. Them just rebellious ass niggas, man. That's the characteristic of a uh, Israelite. Mm hmm. It says, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. And that's what we're doing. We're coming in the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and they get mad at us for that. Mm -hmm. hey, it ain't nothing that we just making up just because uh, we just hate this place so bad. We just making all this shit up. Man, look, at, look at the conditions of the earth, man. It, hey, uh, the ocean is polluted, air pollution. They got uh, homo laws out here. You see? Continuing on, verse 5, it says, And they, whether they were here or whether they were forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall they know that there have been a prophet among them. Mm. You see? So, hey, when the Lord start bringing all this judgment uh, to pass, when Jacob trouble come, when them Karag stations get set up, hey, then you're going to know Hey, that it was a prophet among you, man. Mm -hmm. And that leaves no excuses. You no. see, that's what takes the blood off our hand because we did what we were supposed to do, which is warn you. You see, son of man, I've made thee watchmen to the house of Israel. Give them warning from me. You see? So we doing what Yahweh Shemal Shah required us to do. So when the Lord comes down with judgment, we ain't in the in the way, man. We not in the wrong because uh, we, we warned you, man. We have uh, not shunned to declare to you the whole counsel of your about Shemar Oshai, man. You see? You got it. Hey, I got another quick one for you going back to that Galatians that you brought out. Mm -hmm. How um, we become your enemy because we tell you the truth. Uh, this is um, an example of that. This is First Kings 18 and verse 17. And it says, And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah that Ahab said, unto him art thou he that trouble of Israel and in the NLT this is what it say it says when Ahab saw him he exclaimed so is it really you you the troublemaker of Israel <clears throat> and, and that's how they look at us like we we causing trouble because we telling you the words of Yahweh by Shema Yeah. Uh, continuing on that's verse 8 like if I may say got it. Uh, we consider it as a hate group, man. Yep. And it's going to come a point in time where we're going to be the most hated on the planet Earth. Yep. You see? These people are going to look to uh, cast us in the uh, prison, looking to put certain of us to death. Yep. And they're going to actually believe within themselves that they're doing a good thing, man. That's the spirit. That's what I was looking for earlier kind. when I had uh, stopped you like that. Kind. That's the spirit, though. Uh, but continuing on, verse 18, mm -hmm. and it says, And he answered, I have not troubled Israel. But thou and thy father's house, and that ye have forsaken the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and thou hast followed uh, Balaam. Mm -hmm. You see, and, and that's the same spirit. We ain't, hey, we ain't troubling y'all niggas. We ain't no terrorists, no hate groups. We just telling you that the creators of the universe is finna get ready and destroy America and wipe it off the face of the earth. And if you don't want to be left here and die, hey, you should repent. You see? Hey, but they hate us for that, though. You got it out. And this is benefiting the, 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 the nation of people that's been constantly beaten down and down, tried it, shitting on, shitting on, beat down, you know what I mean? We coming with the good news and glad tidings for you, you know what uh, I mean? We telling you, Yahweh Bashim Al the power of the creators in, uh, uh, of heaven and earth has chosen us, man. You see? The Lord said the kingdom uh, it, it was created, uh, the earth was created for our sakes, man. And the kingdom is at hand, you see. But Jake don't want to hear that though. That's why this message is only for the elect, you see. Uh, we can get Isaiah. Matter of fact, 
Yeah, Isaiah 58 and 1. Uh -huh. This book of Isaiah, <clears throat> chapter 58, and verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, mm -hmm. lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. And this is what you see taking place, man. We're crying aloud, and we're sparing not your feelings, man. Mm -hmm. We're telling you like it is. We're giving it to you raw, man. You see? But this is why they hated our Lord, man, where they was astonished at the Lord's doctrine, you see, mm -hmm. when he was on the scene. Because the Lord was speaking with authority, confidence, you see, and that's the same spirit we come in, man. And we blunt what it said, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You should be hearing that alarm, man. We telling you evils and only evils is coming here, man. You see, this is not the time to be playing around because the Lord is judging the earth which he made. It says, and show my people their transgressions. We're showing you. You so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're showing you, hey, this westernized way of thinking, this westernized way of doing things, it is not going to get you delivered, man. You see? Repent. Hey, uh, forsake uh, the ways of Babylon, man. And turn to your power. You got it. Yeah, you want me to continue on? Uh, yeah. Well, no, nah, that was the point on that. Okay, I had a quick one to bag you up. Uh, this song, like I said, Cry Aloud. Hey, that's what we're doing. This is on um, Psalms 40. Uh, I started verse 9. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Yahweh. Thou knowest. Hey, that's what we're doing. We haven't refrained our lips from, from um, giving you the message of Yahweh by Hashem and Awasha. It says, I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. Come on now. So like, don't it tell you in Romans what our salvation is nearer than when we believe? But this is what we're proclaiming unto you, man. This is what we're declaring to you you, you 12 tribes, man. Right. You see, of the nation of Israel, man. We telling you salvation is at hand here, man. Right. You ain't never got to worry about getting up at 5 o'clock in the fucking morning working for your oppressors. You ain't got to worry about eating defiled foods no more because your house shot is coming with healing in his wings, man. Spirit. You got it. Yeah, because it ain't like we just out there telling you, oh, you're going to die, you're going to die. We tell you uh, the comforting side as well, man. Mm -hmm. If you repent how the Lord is going to deliver you by the way of charity, you're going to get a new body. Like the brother just going to no more fake food. You're going to be the first fruits, man. You're going to be uh, uh, of the elect, man, to bring back uh, the, the two-thirds of our people to get put down over in America, man. Mm -hmm. We we tell you you got uh something greater to look forward to than America, and you still uh hate our Lord Yahweh Shah for that, man. Mm -hmm. But it says, I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. But, but hey, that's the point though. Matter of fact, um, you can keep going. All right. It says, Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Yahweh, by Hashem, I was shot. Let thy love, love, loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. Now, then the Lord say he uh, delights in uh, judgment and loving kindness. Mm -hmm. You see? But it said, it said, and thy truth continually preserve me. The Lord has shown for this is an act of mercy here. The Lord has, has his truth out here, man. What Matthew 24. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Well, we at the end, man. Because this word has went forth by the way of the internet, man. By the way of YouTube. Everybody knows who the Israelites are, man. You see? And it said, and our truth continually preserve me. This is what's given in the last days. So we could be preserved. Yeah, we understand Esau finna come down having great wrath, but the Lord is gonna intervene on, on the behalf of the elect, man. That's the comforting part, man. Mm -hmm. What kind? That was it on that. Yeah, oh. Let me get First John two and fifteen. Uh -huh. For First John, chapter two, and verse fifteen, mm -hmm. it say, "Love not the world." Neither the things that are in the world. Hey, so love not the ways of the world, man. You see? Hey, the things of this world are temple, man. You see? But you got it. It says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Mm -hmm. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes 
and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Mm -hmm. That's all of the world. And guess what? To be carnally minded leads to death, man. Uh -huh. You see? But to be spiritually minded leads to what? Life and peace, man. Uh -huh. You see? Following after Yahweh Shai is going to grant you everlasting life, man. But uh, let me get... Come on. It says, and the world passeth away. Mm-hmm. And the lust thereof. Yep. Hey, so everything you see with the carnal eye, the mindsets of the people, which is defiled and polluted, all of that's going to pass away, man. You see, the Lord's coming to uproot all that crazy shit, man. But you got it. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abide mm -hmm. forever. Hey, it's a benefit to you serving the Lord, man. You're going to abide forever. That's everlasting life right there, man. You see, we're going to, the Israelites are going to live forever, man. You see, whether you believe it or not, it's going to happen because it's thus said of the Lord. You see? Come on with it. It's uh, in the book of St. James, chapter 4 and verse 4. Yep. Ye's adulterers mm -hmm. and adulteress. Yep. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Mm -hmm. So hey, if you if you love this world and the, and the lust of this world, hey, you have made yourself an enemy of your how about Shem al mm -hmm. And he said, hey, he... Who don't want me to rule over him, bring him here and slay him before me. And yep. you're going to be slain here in America for not wanting to repent and serve your powers, Yahweh by Shem al Shah, mm -hmm. you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it says, Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Heavenly Father. You see? So, hey, once again, you made yourself an enemy of Yahweh by Shem al Shah if you want to be uh, friends with this world, man. Mm hmm. Because hey, the ways of this world is death. Uh, let me John 15 and 18. We'll read all the way down to 21. Uh, it's the book of St. John, chapter 15, and verse 18. And it says, If the world hates you, mm -hmm. ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Hey, so we understand, you know, you people hate your house shot. You see, over 2,000 years ago, you hated our Lord, you know. You've always shown forth your hatred. You two-thirds out there, man. You hate your high by Shemal Shah. The Lord said, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Okay. You see? So, yeah, they hate us because your high shot is within us. But that ain't doing nothing but proving that they ultimately hate your high shot. Okay. He that despised the word shall be destroyed. Mm -hmm. You see? But you got it. It says, matter of fact, let me grab this quick one real quick. Mm -hmm. So he said, you despise and you hate Yahweh Shai. This is on the book of the Proverbs chapter 8 and verse uh, sorry, 35. It says, for whoso find of me, find of life, mm -hmm. and shall obtain favor of Yahweh by Shem al mm -hmm. So, if the Lord, he give you the understanding of this word, hey, you have found life, man. Because, mm -hmm. hey, that's what this word brings, life. Life everlasting. You see, that's what we're hoping and looking forward to. And it says, but he that sinned against me, wrong of his own soul. All they that hate me love death. You see, so all you who hate your house shy, that mean you love death, man. Mm -hmm. He's he gonna give you what you're looking for. Hey, you gonna uh, jump up to 33, Baba Kasha? Come. It's Proverbs 8 and verse 33. Mm -hmm. Hear instruction and be wise yep. and refuse it not. Why? Because if you go back to verse 35, for whoso find of me, find of life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema So mm -hmm. the Lord said, Hear instruction. And be wise, because mm -hmm. the Lord loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom, you see? And it says, and refuse it not. Why? Because you're going to obtain the favor of the Lord by holding fast to wisdom, man. Holding fast to the things that the Lord has given us, man. You see? Uh -huh. This is how we obtain the favor of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. What um, it tell you to fear the Lord. Um, what, uh, hold on, let me see if I can grab it. I want to throw you a quick one on the field of the Lord and Come tell you on, how to feel the Lord is safer. Come. This is um Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastical, Sirach 34 and verse uh 13. The spirit of those that feel the Lord shall live, for their hope is in him that saved them. So you say to feel the Lord 
He said, the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. Mm -hmm. Because if you fear the Lord, hey, you're going to show your reverence to him. You're going to um, you're gonna uh, keep his laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. And if you're a man, first and foremost, you're going you're gonna to go out and you're going to um, do the will. Like he said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. You see? Right? Because that ultimately, you know if you don't do this work, hey, you're going to die, man. It, what it says, um, second edge is nine. Uh, it's like, I don't want to mess it up. Second edge is nine and verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby you have believed. Hey, that's how you're going to be able to escape. Because if you feel the Lord, hey, you're going to, um, you're going to, you're going to have, uh, works and faith. You're mm -hmm. going to believe. You see, and it says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And you see, so the Lord put that in you. Hey, Lord, when you, you were part of that elect, the one sanctified from the beginning. Huh? Mm -hmm. What you got, though? Right? Kind. There's uh, Proverbs 10 and 27. It says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, prolong of days. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. You see, so the fear of the Lord, it prolongs your days, man. You see? You mm -hmm. fearing your high about Shemal Shah, well, it, it tells you that's uh, your treasure. Well, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, uh, fear, uh, the, what is, what is, how it go? Um, let me get it. Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall mm -hmm. be the stability of our time. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. This Isaiah 33 and 6 And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times And strength of salvation The fear of Yahweh Shemal Shai is his treasure See, so it's a benefit, man mm -hmm. It's a treasure to you fearing the Lord And this is what's going to ultimately prolong your days, man But you hating the Lord That's going to shorten your days, man Because now you're in the category of the wicked You see? Got a quick one Come on with it This is on uh, the book of Psalms 102 and verse 17 but the mercy of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him mm. and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. You see, it says the Lord's mercy is um, everlasting upon those that fear him, you see, and their children, you see. Where you was at? Uh, Psalms uh, 103 oh, oh, so like, and 17. So like, Psalms 103 and verse 17, it says, But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, mm -hmm. to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandment mm -hmm. to do them. Kind. It says, uh, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Mm -hmm. You see, it, it's how about Shemal Shah, the reason why we remember. You see, that way he said, I uh, bring these things to your remembrance. What well, as, uh, as birds uh, res res resort to that kind, so will truth return to those that practice in her. Yep. Roughly paraphrasing. You see, but. Um, so, I mean, St. John. Kind, kind. We'll get back on that. Yeah, this St. John 19, I mean, 15 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. Mm -hmm. So if we was of this world, people would love us. But you got it. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Hey, so we're not of this world. Yahweh Shemal Shah has chosen us out of this world, man. He mm -hmm. has made us uh, 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 holy and separate, man. Uh, you see? You got it. Right above these people. Mm -hmm. And they feel the spirit when you're around it. Yep. When you're around it. That's what, another reason they really hate you. Because they feel, they know that you you a holy spirit, man. And they just wicked as hell. That's why <laughs> they get so offended. You be like, oh, no. You can say it nice as hell. Yeah. You, you want uh, uh, one of these pork chops? Like, oh, no, I'm good. What, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I see, you, you, you can say it as nice as you want. They just, just going to get offended, man. Yeah, man. It says, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Hey, so that's the reason why people <laughs> treat us the way they do. You see, that's why they act the way they act. Because they ultimately hate us, man. Mm -hmm. You see? 
But we say Kale Yabba Shemal Shah because fuck these damn people, man. We don't give a shit about you. You see? And the Lord don't give a shit about you. But you got it. It says, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. Hey, so we're not greater than Yahweh Shai, man. They treat our Lord like shit, man. Mm -hmm. No matter how humble he came, no matter how, how nice he tried to be, you know what I mean? They still treat him like he wanted shit. Like, this ain't the, the son of the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. So fuck you goddamn people, man. You got it. And that's why we rejoice and mock at you niggas' death. Yeah. And sicknesses when you hear about a nigga dying in the car crash. Especially in the city. Yeah. When I hear about these niggas getting put down, I call me up by Shim out. Yeah, it, yeah. it made my day. It's uh, continuing on. It says, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Hey, so this happened to our Lord. Hey, so we have to prepare for it to happen to us as well. Uh -huh. But the Lord is preparing us for that, man. We ain't got to do nothing. Mm -hmm. You see? But believe on your how about Shim out shot and let him do his thing, man. Uh -huh. And whatever happens... We just pray you how about Shemal Shah keep the spirit upon us to endure whatever the fuck we got to go through. But we know we got to go through hell. Right. Hey, but in order to, to get to it, you got to go through it. But you got it. It says, if they have kept my saying, mm -hmm. they will keep yours also. You got it. It says, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. Hey, so these positions we about to be put in, some may have to be taking a concentration count. Whatever the hell the Lord has written within our story. It's all being done for the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay. You see? That's the that's the bigger picture of things, man. You see, but you got it. Because they know not him that sent me. And these people don't know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, but we do. Okay. You see? But they're gonna know him as we know him. But they're gonna know they're not gonna know him. The love and kindness, they're gonna know the judgments that the Lord's gonna execute upon their ass, man. But let me get uh, first Peter's five and six if you got something. Close out with this. This book of First Peter, chapter five and verse six. Yep. And it says, "Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High." Which is Yahweh Shah. You got it. That He may exalt you in due time. Hey, uh, before honor goes humility. You see, so we have to be humble first, just like our Lord Yahweh Shah was. And what He told us, we were going to be increased at our last end, man. But we got to be patient, just like Yahweh Shah had to be patient. You know, to go back to the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, and now he's also being patient right now while he's currently sitting on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father to make his glorious return and, and to claim what's his, man. But you got it. Casting all your care upon him, yep. for he care for you. Hey, Psalms 55 and 22. Mm -hmm. Cast the uh, burdens. burdens upon your high by Shemal Shine. He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. And he said... Uh, casting 